Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're gonna talk about how American cities are getting worse, with the crime, that is. It's getting exponentially worse, to be exact, in major cities around the country. Now, major cities including New York, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Atlanta, uh, Portland, these cities are seeing major crime, a spike in crime, if you will, and obviously, the connection there, or what they all have in common is Democrat mayors. So it seems as if you have a Democrat mayor in your city, your city is fucked. Now I know there are towns out there that have Democrats, but again, towns are a little more um, self-sufficient. They run on their own, they have way less people, so it's a lot easier to get things done there. And there's a lot, it's a lot easier to see the trouble coming and get that shit out of your neighborhood in a hurry, right? In the city, you don't have that. You have liberal mayors who say, fuck it, the cops are being too harsh. We're gonna have to put handcuffs on them. We're gonna have to tell these cops they can't do X, Y, and Z. And when you tell cops that, when you start getting a cops in trouble for doing their job, like, Eric, like Derek Chauvin, you start seeing less cops do less policing. You have Democrats right now blaming cops for the spike in crime because they're not doing their jobs. But when you have Democrats who are hooking up cops, meaning getting them in trouble, and then they lose their jobs or go to jail, why would a cop want to do anything other than stop a major crime? So when you don't stop smaller crimes, you get the major one to happen. It's called a broken glass theory. It was something that uh, Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani, had stated when he was mayor here. If you don't fix the smaller problems, they turn into big problems, and big problems turn into catastrophes as you see in all the cities I mentioned, catastrophes. Now, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if it was Giuliani or um, the ex-police commissioner of the time, but nonetheless, it seems to be true. Now, when I was a kid, I thought that was a bullshit ideology. No, it isn't. When you become an adult and you grow up and you start seeing shit for yourselves, you're like, damn, this shit is getting out of hand. They're right. If they stop the little things, they could head off the big things by stopping the little things broken window theory. Now, it seems to be that the cities that preached defund the police are the cities that are seeing the high crimes, right? Again, uh, you also have, what was it, Minneapolis as well? Their crime fucking spiked when they disbanded the cops. Then you have, again, Los Angeles, New York, Philadelphia, Chicago, forgot about them, right? Portland, Los Angeles. You have these cities that are uh, all about defunding the cops, and then look what happened. Look at Portland. Portland let the animals have a section of Portland and it turned into a fucking crime ridden area. Not the responsibility or the responsible area the mayor thought they were gonna get out of that area, they didn't. They got nothing but drugs, crime, gangs, rape, all kinds of shit in that area. And then the mayor of Portland tries to take it back and what happens? They're met with fucking resistance. Well, listen guys, if I'm the mayor of Portland, first of all, if I was the mayor of Portland, that shit would have never happened. That's one. Two, as soon as they locked down the block, I would have unleashed the cops. I was like, listen, turn your body cams off and go to fucking work. It's exactly what I would have told them to do. I would have rather ordered them to do it. Because the only way you get shit done and the way you get it back is you have to be forceful about it. You don't have a burglar in your house and then you ask the burglar, yo, man, can you please leave? The burglar's not gonna turn around and go, you know what, man, because you act nicely, I'm gonna bounce. This shit don't happen. Burglar's in your house, you gotta put the screws to him. Well, guess what? The criminals of the cities are running the city pretty much. The only way to get the city back is to put the screws in them. Hammer the motherfuckers out. The cops in all these cities have to become the hammer and the thugs, criminals, rapists, and drug dealers are the nails. You gotta hammer these motherfuckers out. You can't say please, maybe, and thank you. You gotta take this shit back by force. It's the only way it gets done. Now, with crime spiking the way it is, it does seem like the cities can turn into this apocalyptic scenario that we've all seen in movies, if they keep letting it go down that road. Now, one side of me, I guess the optimistic side of me, is saying that these cities are not gonna let it get that far, though Portland already did, but even the mayor said, whoa, I fucked up, let me pull it back. And it was a tad late. But if they keep going down this road, these cities will turn into an apocalyptic scenario 
And the only way to get it back at that point is to get the National Guards involved. The National Guards, guys, if you set them loose, they're not going to operate by the same rules like fucking PD. They're not going to fucking sit there and please maybe and thank you. And, oh, my God, you're a marginalized group. Let me fucking, you know, tuck you in while, while I put you in the, in the squad car. Right? While I put you in the car, let me fucking baby you. Oh, watch your head. You know, fuck that shit. National Guards are going to let you have it if they fucking unleash them. Let you have it. Motherfuckers might even be getting shot. Now, I know that in certain states, the National Guards will be given rubber bullets. So you have that to contend with. Rubber bullets still hurt, guys. I don't give a fuck who you are. You get hit with one of those things, you're fucking, you're, the wind is going to get knocked out of you. So still, but rubber bullets do jam more than uh, regular ammo. And when guys are shooting real bullets at you, I don't know if rubber bullets are the way. Because if criminals see a motherfucker get his fucking chest blown out by a 5.56 five, or 2.23, two, they're going to stop. <laughs> they're going to automatically stop and like, fuck it, and put their shit down. So there is that to contend with. National Guards are going to fucking set it off if you enact them, if you activate them, sorry. But if you don't activate them and you let the cops handle it, then the policing is going to have to be hard. And unfortunately, body cameras are going to have to be turned off. That's how you're going to get it back. Because you're not going to sit there with a body camera and try to be like, all right, let me get this guy on the ground. Fuck, let me kick glove him and, and baby him and tell him a fucking bedtime story while I get him on the ground and rest him. You got to turn the body cameras off and you just got to start throwing punches to the back of the head, solar plexus, shoulder blades, fucking nut shots, gut shots, swipe, uh, what, sweep the leg, right? All of that shit is on the table if the police have to get their city back. Now, these cities are getting worse across the board, right? I, I, like I said before, it's becoming such a problem that people are scared to leave their homes. Even here in New York City, people are like, I'm minimizing my time outside because I don't want to get robbed, beat, raped, you know, or, or, or mistaken for somebody else and shot. So people are actually saying that here in the city. People are sitting there saying they're actually scared to come outside. I, listen, you're pretty much a pussy at that point if you're fucking scared to come outside because you're scared you might get shot and you might get robbed. I know that it's happening more often than not. I know that poor kid, uh, I think he was a Marine that was downtown. He gets shot by a stray bullet because some asshole shooting at somebody else across the street and hits him. Right. So you have that. But I mean, do you fucking change your life and become a hermit because of criminals? No, because that's what they want. What you have to do is you got to be out in the street. You have to have your situational awareness at its highest order. And then you got to be out there willing to help. That's the other thing, guys. You come in one of these major cities that have this high crime. You got to be willing to help. You can't just sit there and watch an old lady get beat up the other day. Some old lady. Uh, got rocked in the face. So some EDP's walking by and just the way the video went, he's walking by and he's like, and boom, and like it was sort of like, oh, look at that old lady over there and, and, and let her have it. She didn't fall down. So that was a good thing. But with that, the neighborhood saw this shit and they started beating the shit out of this dude. It was like everybody under the sun. You had a fucking hipster run over there and started fucking like kicking him like, you know, like the baby kicks and shit. And then you had this fucking black guy like fucking out of nowhere just started like hauling off on him like he fucking owed him money. And then more people started jumping in and people started kicking him. That's the kind of shit that needs to be done every day here in the city because now they're helping this lady out. And now the criminals are gonna be like, yo, I'm not fucking popping. First of all, it was an EDP. So EDPs really rarely learn their lesson. When they are crazy, they rarely learn their lesson. So you have to contend with a lot of that out here. But nonetheless, they let that dude have it. So that was a good thing. They came to the aid of this lady. They beat the shit out of this dude and everybody was happy, except for the guy that got his ass handed to him. Now, I find it interesting that with all the crime going on in these major cities, that they're still worried about the vaccine. They're still worried about, they're still having vaccine contests. They're also having vaccine incentives. You got people dying left and right all over your city and you're worried about COVID, 1% mortality. People are dying every day. There are more people now dying every day in the cities than COVID is killing. And maybe not in New York City. I think New York City is like 100 a day or something like that. But I'm pretty sure over 100 people a week are getting shot, right? But with the exception of other cities that have low COVID 
uh, infection rates, that is, and low deaths. I did, actually, I'm sorry, I take that back. Uh, I think last week only like 12 people died from COVID, or 23 people. I think that many people got shot and maybe six or maybe six to 10 were killed. I'll get you the correct numbers. But still, guys, my point is you have a, you, you, you're worried about COVID and you have COVID incentives and here you are worried about that and letting criminals do what the fuck they want. There are more criminal activity right now in every major city going on than people contracting and or dying from COVID. So the following stats are crime in the major cities from a year ago. So June 28th were the, were the dates that the numbers were read off from a year ago, June 28th, 2020. So from June 28th, 2020 to June 2021, these are the numbers. They read, Atlanta, up 41% in homicides up 40% in shootings. Chicago, up 4% in homicides, which is actually pretty impressive. I thought it would have been higher. And 15% in shootings. Los Angeles, up 26% in homicides and 47% in shootings. New York City's up 13% from last year and up 53% in shootings from last year. Philadelphia's up 38% in homicides from last year and up 26% in shootings. Portland, homicides are up 533% and up 126% in shootings. This is Portland, Oregon now. Now, to be fair, Portland had a low crime rate to begin with. So, of course, anything over three shootings that they had, speculating, that they had is going to absolutely bump that up. So, you got to keep that in mind. It could be like 23, 30 shootings. Right. And it could be uh, 25 homicides versus the two they had last year. You get what I'm saying? So the 533 percent sounds big and it is big because that's more people dying than it was before. And it also shows you the lack of leadership that these cities have, which is none. So the mayors in these uh, cities, I have to let you guys know, because these are the scumbags that are running the cities. These are the scumbags that should never, ever set foot in the political arena after they're done with their uh, mayoral Mayorship, if you will, if that's even a word. But anyway, after they're done being mayor, guys, they're out. They're all out this year. Every city should be having an election this year, mayor election this year. So the mayors in the following cities are Atlanta's Keisha Lance Bottoms, Lori E. Lightfoot in Chicago, Eric Michael Garcetti in Los Angeles, William Douchebag de Blasio, New York City, Jim Kenny in Philadelphia, or also known as Philly, and Edward Tevis Wheeler, that piece of shit, in Portland, Oregon. These are the people that should never, ever step foot in the political arena ever again. They failed these cities. They failed the people of these cities. They failed the police, fire, EMS, sanitation, whoever the fuck else is involved. They failed everyone in the cities with their political bullshit. They were sitting there talking about worrying about marginalized people and the marginalized people are the same people that are fucking killing one another. I don't know when the last time a white guy here fucking called someone a nigger and then killed them right afterwards. But yet you hear motherfuckers yelling, yo nigger, hold this. And then boom, shooting motherfuckers left and right. You got little kids again, dying left and right by the hands of other black and Spanish men not by the hands of cops and not by the hands of some white dude just roaming around. You got EDPs attacking fucking people. The majority EDPs in the city are of color and or Spanish, not the cops. So that is the bigger fucking issue and that is the bigger problem and yet no one wants to address it because they want to be liked. Fuck being liked. I'd rather be feared and fucking hated because this city needs to be cleaned up and it doesn't need to be cleaned up with fucking love because love doesn't do shit. Love, the perception of love does what it did here to this, these cities. Put them in fucking harm's way and fucking handicap everyone who lives here because now when you walk outside, what do you got to do? Keep your head on the swivel. You're always supposed to keep your head on the swivel, but like in fucking liberal terms and, and hipster world, they didn't have to do that. Now they're doing it. Now they're walking outside watching motherfuckers and making sure where their hands are and all this other crazy shit when he really didn't have to do that before. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Telegram. 
other than that guys thank you for watching